is taking the dogs for an early morning walk. Early morning? What am I saying? It's not early at all. In fact, I got a bit of a sleep in this morning. Um, it's really strange. This is a work day. For the last seven years, I've started this work day at around 4 a.m. I sleep in, it's probably 5 a.m. So it's like, I don't know, 7 or something now. Oh, just taking the dogs for a walk. It's really good for my health. Yeah, for my diabetes and everything, I I go for a daily walk. <laughs> so I just went down to the farm, walked around a bit. It's walking back home now. It's so nice to take the dogs out too. Um, because I will head into work this morning. And then I know at least I've had a really good run around. Makes me feel so much better about my parenting for the dogs. <laughs> I gotta practice becoming a good mother. Look how exhausted they are. This is so good. Because you never want to leave them when they're sort of like pent up energy, because then you, I don't know, I try to exhaust their energy. But it's really good for me as well, so. But it's really strange. The Ross is fully covered today without me. Not even needed. <laughs> But I just still want to go in, check on a few things. Um, I've got my new staff member. She's started. She's full-time now. It's her second week full-time as my replacement. And, but she's fantastic. But I just want to go in and make sure, like, okay, do we have any questions? Because she's only been there two weeks. And um, we've done a heap of training. So she seems pretty confident in most areas. But I just want to make sure, like, yeah. Like if someone asks, like, what gluten-free options are there on this meal, or <laughs> there's so many different questions people can ask, or like, does she know how to answer them effectively? Is she confident in the role? So I will go in later. I'm just trying to start to take it a bit easier. Being really, really strict with my diet. Um, been really like having a lot of panic attacks about having to relocate to Brisbane or move to Brisbane as well before baby's due so just trying to really really monitor my diabetes and everything I eat and the time and everything so that's that ah oh, nearly home okay so here I'm just making us some lunch I'm doing a Lunch for me and a lunch for Devon. I do need to change it a little bit. Mine's sort of got to be the low carb or like carb controlled, sort of portion controlled part with my gestational diabetes, <laughs> which is a bit of a pain. But it's really nice having a, a, a lunch made and um, yeah, not having to worry about that when I get into work. So just going through some baby stuff, baby clothes and a few things, monitors and just gifts from family, which is really, really nice. A few more huge bagfuls to go through. 
it's really really exciting and like I don't think I'm gonna need to buy anything there is so much here going to make the cot today which is so exciting obviously I'll have to pull this all off and wash it and everything but I thought I might just protect the mattress a little bit just um yeah just when I'm like I'm sort of using it like to when I organize, organize all my clothes and stuff so it's nice to have a bit of a mattress protector and a sheet on it when I'm doing things like that but it was so sweet making the bed <laughs> making the little cot oh it's so exciting So this is kind of my life now. So with these tests, I do a little blood prick and um, test it four times a day when I wake up and then two hours after every single meal. Ah, oh, it's a little bit of a pain. Then I'm recording like that meal and how many carbs were in that meal and, and yeah, just recording everything, doing everything I can. And just giving Looney some love because she gives me so much love. <laughs> She's always following me around. I think she's got a connection with this baby already. I'm just relaxing with the dogs on the couch. The last two days we've spent redoing that old crusty cupboard, we being mum and me. 
And like, I felt pretty good most of the time, but sometimes I just sat and mom did all the work. <laughs> but it's so nice. It's so nice to get family's help. Sometimes you just can't be motivated. Especially when you've got pregnancy energy. I don't know, I'm blaming pregnancy. <laughs> but we finally finished the cupboard. Oh, it looks looks good. It's still old and crusty, but I think it'll look really good in the room. And too bad if it doesn't look good because it is what it is. <laughs> it's dying. Um, so all we're gonna do is put on a knob. Mum sourced me this beautiful like vintage knob. She knows like my style. She knew I'd love it. And I was like, yeah, we gotta put that on. It's gorgeous. So she got me this beautiful like vintage knob. So we gotta put that on and then we just gonna move it in place. It's awesome. One of the doors is sticking a little bit. So I might have a look at that, but otherwise I think it's pretty much done. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So no energy. Just like these dogs, big yawn. Devin's been working really hard in the garden. He's he's um, jumped out of bed this morning and he's like, I'm going to get the garden spring ready. So I think he's sort of feeling, he's like, by the time spring actually comes, um, we're going to have a baby. So he was sort of wants to get the garden all prepped and ready. They're cleaning out the pumpkin patch at the moment. Devin and his farm hand. And they're also like... Prepping new beds, planting raspberries. He's got so much going on at the farm. He's sort of been going all day down there. Um, doing a few loads of like wood chip and compost. And yeah, just getting the top dressing, all the gardens. Winter's a really good time to do that. Top dressing and getting everything weeded and ready. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing the last couple of days. <laughs> it's all happening. Yeah, so... It's really great to have help from family though. I don't think I could find the motivation otherwise. I'm such a lump. I'd be like, yeah, I'll do it sometime. And then the baby would be here and I'd be like, you know what? I should have done it before the baby was here. <laughs> oh, trying to just get everything done before baby. Hey, Looney Tunes. Hi, is your baby in there? Hey, your baby. Hello, hello baby. Looney's so sweet. <laughs> You are, you're so sweet. Yeah, anyway, so that's an update. But I'm going to move the cupboard in soon. I'm turning for Devin to get home. It's not that heavy, it's just a little bit awkward. So, he'll help me get it into place. I really shouldn't record vlogs when I'm looking like this. <laughs> that's funny, when I go out, I get my hair and makeup. I can make sure I look nice. My hair's done, my makeup's done. Nice dress. And then I see like three people. And then, like, I record this and put it on the internet when I look like this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not getting ready for a, a vlog. This is how I roll, how I do things. <sighs> okay, let's go move a cupboard. This is a very exciting delivery. This is a box from Ikea with a few like baby things. I got myself a nursing pillow and like little shelves and little hooks to go in the nursery. Oh, it's, it's just all very exciting. These are some like curtain rods. Um, yeah, just l all little things for the nursery. And it's just one big game for the cat. I'm always hiding things in amongst the rubbish for her to find. And <laughs> she just loves it. <laughs>
And to finish today, just doing a little bit of prep, just cutting up some fresh fruit and some healthy options. Um, and then just making like a wrap pizza, just like a few things on top of a wrap for dinner tonight as well. Just sort of trying to keep the fridge stocked with some healthy snacks and 